Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the remainder of April 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to email me for a price list if you don't already have it. If you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process, so make sure you're registered at Bill Per Call. Um, you can request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Uh, also, be sure to check me out on uh, Patreon for the monthly Venus sign readings, and check me out on TikTok. All right, so <clears throat> overall energy, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. We have Judgment, we've got the Two of Cups, Lovers, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and Ten of Swords. All right, so I feel that you guys are finally confronting the past or letting the past go. There seems to be some sort of issue that kept resurfacing. Something kept haunting you. Maybe you were in denial of something. You were nervous, didn't want to deal with it. You're like, I know I got to deal with this. I know uh, this situation is coming up. I know I got to have this conversation. Um, so whatever is getting ready to happen, like you were having anxiety about it, I do feel like it's getting ready to happen. Um, but, you know, this is also an opportunity to have closure. Um, this also may be the energy of someone that is coming towards you. Definitely seems like they're super nervous. Um, it's either someone you're already dealing with that has something to say or someone new coming towards you, but they've been... Um, holding back or procrastinating. It could be a past person too, but either way, whoever's coming towards you, I feel like they're just like super nervous about this situation, but they know they need to deal with it or approach it. Um, so in regards to new love, definitely seems like this person is um, very emotional about what they have to say. And I feel like they're wanting to approach you. They want to let you know that They've been thinking about you or they're interested. They want to get to know you. Um, but the thing is that I feel like you, you're going to have like more than one opportunity. Somebody's needing to make a decision. If you don't have, you know, more than one option, then they may be in a situation where they're, you know, trying to figure out, is it you or is it another person that they want to move towards? So either way, I feel like this is talking about choices that need to be made. And I feel like there's a connection here where it seems like the perfect person. This is like we're just alike, you know, we could be best friends like you get me. I don't even have to say anything. You can read my mind. Um, we're just connected. Um, not only you, you might be having like these amazing feelings for each other. But the connection itself serves a bigger purpose. Um, there's something bigger going on than you can really perceive at this time. Maybe in your eyes, it's just, you know, someone that you're super attracted to, um, that you have a lot of things in common with. But you may be unaware that this person is going to lead you to something else. Um or just that the relationship itself is going to serve a bigger purpose. Um, I feel like what also may happen is that there's this conversation and it's kind of like, okay, it's up to you. What are you going to do? And then you have to like kind of sit and think about what happens next. You're like, man, I don't know. And it feels like you're trying to figure out what should be the next step. Or maybe um, this is how the other person is feeling after you shares, you know, your thoughts on something. 
and they're kind of like, man, I need to figure out what to do next. Now, this also looks like, um, I feel like somebody is not ready to let go. Someone feels like, no, this is, this is what I want. I'm holding on to it. This is, you know, the perfect idea or the perfect person for me. Um, this person was sent for me. This is my gift from the universe. Like someone really feels like they're holding on to a connection and can't seem to let it go because they feel like it was made for them. And this person may even, you know, fight for you, fight to have you, fight to hold on to you. Um, if someone, I feel like if you and another person have established some sort of foundation already, they are going to fight to hold that foundation. They're like, I'm not letting, I'm not letting you go. Like you're not, I don't care about that other, other person or whatever issues you say, why it's not going to work out. We're going to work through this. Like, I feel like someone is determined to make something work or determined to hold on to you. Now, also this can be reversed. Maybe these are the feelings that you're having for someone in particular. Um, Looks like you are also reviewing a situation. You're looking at something objectively. You had to take yourself outside of the situation to get an understanding. You also could have been too close to a situation before, but now you've had a chance to kind of reflect and you're seeing something for what it is, or maybe you understand that something is no more. If you had the two options, I feel like one of them you're moving forward with and the other one you're just not. Um, something's going on where I feel that you are like Taking on either like a new identity. I just feel like you can see the past now. You're like, I don't believe that was me. I don't believe that's what I was, the relationship I was in. I don't believe, it's like you're able to see something for what it is now. Um, yeah, it's, it's like you're, you have a new perception on relationships or someone in particular. Mm. Something about, I'm getting, you know, the saying about like rising from the ashes um, or like the Phoenix. So you definitely may be going through some sort of transformation where you have to, had to burn to be purified, like something you had to go through the fire. Um, but you're gonna come out a better person. You're gonna come out stronger. You're go gonna come out more enlightened. Hmm. Something also looks like divine intervention, so I feel that another thing that's going on is that you're being protected or guarded by your ancestors or by your spirit guides or even by your higher self. Something's going on where you're being protected and anyone that is not for you will be taken away from you. You might be hurt by it, but something could be for your own protection. Um, yeah, so something seems like divine intervention. It's like, no, that person's not for you. So someone may be taken out of your life if it's not meant for you guys to move forward. But something also seems like you're being introduced. Like here's an introduction. You also may be connecting with someone who changes you like in a profound way. Like they left such an impression on you that 
you know, you just, you needed that. You needed to have that connection to see things. Let's say, for instance, you were in a dead-end relationship or you are in a dead-end relationship. You might cross paths with someone who makes you quite like just really feel like, why am I in this dead end relation? What am I doing here? I need to get out of this. I need to let this go. Um, and that happened to me before, like right before my awakening. Um, it's like I knew something was a dead end, but because I, I blame it on my Leo rising, I'm very loyal. So I hold on to it. But I came across I crossed paths with someone that like shook me to the point where it's like, what am I doing? Like, I need to get up out of this relationship. <laughs> and it's like the relationship ended not too long after that connection. So that might be going on with you. If you are currently in some sort of dead end relationship, you might cross paths with someone that touches you so deeply, so profoundly that you end up walking away from, you know, something that was dead weight. Um, even if you are single and in your mind, you want to be with this past person so bad, some, something could happen where you didn't see it. You didn't know this other person was out there. You cross paths with them and you are now ready to let go of that person that you were hoping to be with. You're like, man, I've been holding on to this person for over a year. I cross paths with this person and I, who? What's their name? You know, so something might happen where, you know, you are just, you know, moved by some connection that you have. Could be dealing with any sign, but I'm getting water. Gemini. And Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be some sort of big shift or change, um, especially going into Taurus season. I feel like by Taurus season, something new is happening for you in regards to your love life. Maybe you've got new direction. Maybe you start to move forward with the new person. Maybe you become single, but you're okay with it. Mm. But I feel like something has been causing you a lot of grief or pain. Yeah, I feel like you're able to let something go. Something you were holding on to. And maybe too, you were being very secretive about something. You, you were quiet about something. Um, maybe people didn't know what you were going through, but now you've decided to let that go. Uh, also, someone might be you know, like I said, sneaking out of the relationship. It's like, I'm just leaving. Um, I'm not telling them anything. I'm just, I'm, because if I tell them they're going to try and stop me, I'm just leaving. So it could be a situation like that. The other thing that this may be is that whoever's coming towards you is coming out of a relationship. My only warning with that is, of course, you know, you don't want to be a rebound. Some rebounds do have happy endings. Most don't. Um, so that would be the only thing with this. I kind of too, too feel like somebody's been quiet because they've been dealing with some sort of mourning or grief.
collectively i feel like everybody's ready for this for something to come to an end or ready for this new beginning like someone's been thinking about you I feel like somebody's been thinking about you and I feel like this person is available someone's been keeping the, their distance because they were unavailable at first now they are I also feel that this person may have spoken to you or they will reach out to you, but then they disappear because they're still mourning or healing. Or someone's going to give you some sort of good news, bad news. Good news, I'm single. Bad news, I'm still hurting. Also seems like someone's gonna stop watching you at some point especially if it's a situation where someone's been wanting to be with you but they never said anything and then next thing you know they see that you're in a relationship they're like oh I guess that's it I waited too late Somebody has been secretly pursuing you, waiting for the right moment to come into your life or to reveal themselves. But it seems like they've been coming through to you in dreams. Or it seems like you've been receiving some sort of indirect messages or receiving some sort of clues. Some of you have a secret admirer. Yeah, I do feel like someone has been keeping their distance because they were in a relationship. It feels like something's been happening for a while where two people who are attracted to each other have both been kind of set in their ways. Um, and maybe somebody's needing to step out of their comfort zone in order to be with you or you are having to step out of your comfort zone to be with somebody. Something is against what you normally do or go for. And again, someone has just been keeping tabs while at the same time, maybe trying to get your attention every now and then or trying to see if the connection still had a pulse. It's like someone pops up and they're like, let me see if they're still single or let me see if this person is still attracted to me. Like, um... I feel like someone's been kind of like poking you. It, it literally makes me think of that stupid Facebook poke. poke. Um, but I kind of feel like someone is just like has been like 
trying to nudge or get your attention, um, just popping up and then disappearing because they're trying to see if you're still available or if you're if you would be interested in them. Um, but they haven't like taken full action as of yet. Part of the reason, like I said, th this person's been involved with somebody already and they have been teeter tottering on breaking up with that person. Yeah. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you guys. Hopefully something resonates. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sydney Love and Grace.